Hey, Araba. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you 100 billion times. And if you're new here, kindly hit the subscribe button. I don't know if it's here or here, but hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell. Yeah, because that's how we do it here. So where did I end in the past one? Okay, this is the part where my mom, my boyfriend, my sister, and some friends were included in this issue. So I'm gonna go right into the video today. I don't want the video to be lengthy, so I'm going to make everything snappy and as fast as possible. So, so wow. So before I start with the story time, comment below if I look good in my new wig. Comment below, comment below, I wanna know. So let's get right into the video. I ain't gotta get for no tennis bracelet. So I was talking to her on the phone. I told her it wasn't me who called her boyfriend to tell her she went out with her ex. But she wasn't believing me. I didn't know what to do or what to say for her to believe me. So I just let it pass because I thought it wasn't any serious issue. But this girl made it a serious issue. She went around telling people I know and people I don't know about this issue. She was telling them that I I want to ruin her relationship. It, I, I've been taking money from her boyfriend, Nina. Hey, Araba. Ah, but me i've been taking money from your boyfriend ask your boyfriend if i've ever told him to give me one Ghana cities araba was telling lies her name is not araba but araba like she should call somebody i don't know to tell her call veronica and insult her such a such a idealistic like behavior such a fool such a foolish girl she was calling people i don't know to call me and insult me like she called maybe the population of Kofredia would be like around maybe two i don't know the population of Kofredia, but she called 90 percent of the people in Kofredia. Hey, this girl she knows people papa hey, she told me she, she came to Kofredia because of school but hey Araba, she knows everybody including the chief of Kofredia. <laughs> so she was going around telling people this girl texted my boyfriend on instagram she didn't have my boyfriend's contact so she texted my boyfriend on instagram and told him to call a certain number b she has something to tell him so my boyfriend told me um about it but he didn't call that number so i had to quickly tell my boyfriend about everything so i told him from the scratch and i told him how i was cheating on him and blah 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 he finally forgave me and we went ahead with our relationship and all of that yes so i don't know how this girl got my boyfriend's contact i seriously don't know i don't know where she got the contact from she sent a whole lot of text messages to my boyfriend's and was up telling him what had happened and how i was cheating on him and blah 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 maybe she was expecting my boyfriend to dump me but <laughs> the boy has got <laughs> so yeah we move mm -hmm. yeah that boy is a liar <laughs> so the part where my mom came in I, I remember telling you guys it was during my time when this whole shit happened. This girl wasn't allowing me to pay attention to my books. Now this day is some course I'm not going to write and this girl was not letting me pay attention. So I sent her a voice message, a voice note, warning her to stay away from me. She has finally got what she wanted, like what she wants. She wants to disgrace me. She wants everybody to know, she, yes, she's the innocent one and I'm the bad nut. Yes, everybody has now seen that I'm the bad one and you are the good friend. So just take the title. Good friend, good friend, good friend, good friend. Just take it. I don't want to think so. Stay the fuck away from me. This girl forwarded my um, my voice note to my mother, telling her I she has not um she was a good friend to me. She doesn't know why I've done that to her. A whole lot of shit. So my mom called me to ask me what happened, and I told her everything. And my mom called her back and told her to stay away from me. Friendship is not my first. Her boyfriend called me back to tell me that 
the reason why he's still with her he's still tolerating her shit is that she's doing something very important for her so if he should break up with her right now that's something will not succeed so that's why she's tolerating her shit but shit but after that thing he's done with her i wanted to tell my bestie so much because i still loved her so i wanted to tell her but with the way she was fooling herself no i just had to just let go and mind my business because mind your business is the key to success cheers so boyfriend texted me and he sent me a screenshot of their text message she was telling her boyfriend that her boyfriend should post it on her um his status and caption it's my world best so when i view that um status and i comment he should take a screenshot of what i said and send it to her and i was like <laughs> is this girl mad or does she think i like her boyfriend like does that make sense that she thinks i like her boyfriend i don't like a boyfriend one it's not even 0.5 percent not talk of negative 55.8 percent and i told the boy to just go away with her girlfriend and their shit because me they i'm done she called my friends in kumasi to tell them about this issue so i quite remember i was learning i had a paper the next day so i was learning for the next day when her boyfriend called me so i answered and we we're talking on the phone not knowing it was a conference call my friends who were in kumasi were on the call and um my boyfriend who was in kofridia too was on the call so they were all listening to me and thank god because i'm not a bad friend i was even defending her on the call yeah i was defending her whilst we were talking on the phone then i heard my friend who was in kumasi talking she, she mentioned my name i was like oh it's a conference call is this a trap or what do you think i'll go behind you telling shits you've done to your boyfriend you see you've been shamed and all of that i don't know what she told my friends who were in kumasi i don't know what she told her but i got pissed and then hanged up so I just had to move on i was disappointed in my friends because you don't know her she's my bestie i've been with her for like a while now so i know what she's capable of doing and even if she has called you to tell you something why didn't you tell me but rather plan on bringing me down or plan on calling me on a conference call to listen to me to do what to do what so i was very very disappointed but we move we move she actually told me one of my friend's boyfriend looks like a goat <laughs> that was the same girl she called and that was the same girl who was on the conference call listening to me whatever so i was like have you seen it she said your boyfriend looks like a goat but she called you meanwhile she called you to talk about me and you also followed her like a goat so munina we a goat <laughs> so the issue passed my mom warned her my boyfriend told her she should go away with her nonsense so i blocked her and blocked their soul blocked their spirits blocked their shadow and blocked every foolish fucking nasty thing about her like i blocked her from my life no nothing i didn't i didn't have anything concerning her on my phone so the issue passed and the following year um she called me around march during the lockdown to apologize she told me to let go of everything oh i've changed my phone i would have shown you screenshots of our chat she told me she actually called me on the phone to tell me that her mom said we should let go of everything and that she's very very sorry she cannot live without me um a whole lot of crap but you know i know this girl i know the way she is i didn't want to ask a friend again because i know another issue would have happened a similar one would have happened again so i just told her to just stay away from me she wasn't listening the next day she would text me she t she'd be telling people to come and beg me and all of that but i didn't listen to anybody's shit because i was totally fed up i was done with her drama and her movie so that was all so from then i don't like doing those 
bestie bestie stuff and all of that i have friends i um i vibe with i have friends i go out with i have friends i talk to and all of that but i don't have this close friend i have friends i vibe with but we don't have that kind of bestie bestie relationship again no from there from uh, the time i blogged there from the time i stopped doing the, those bestie bestie shit i've been living my life to the fullest no fights no nothing so you should also get rid of bestie bestie if you have a bestie female friend my sister advise yourself so that was what happened after she apologized i told her i've forgiven her but to associate with her again <laughs> my sister my sister i am sorry i am sorry once bitten twice shy put this here once bitten twice shy so that's the end of the video thank you for sticking and staying with me till the end of this video if you haven't liked please do so share and hit the notification bell because i'll be posting a new video soon yes and i think it's going to be a vlog my first vlog so thank you guys i love you all i ain't gotta get for no tennis bracelet i need 20 bands